Soundstripe. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, welcome back to the Culture Podcast. It's been a good couple months. Um, and honestly, there's no good reason for it, which is why the, the first episode back is going to be what it's going to be about, which is going to be about accountability. Um, and I know, you know, I've talked about accountability before, and um, <clears throat> I just wanted to really make an emphasis on it, like I said, because there really wasn't a reason why I haven't, uh, you know, haven't been doing this. Um, but, you know, just starting with the, the, first, the first step, well, not the, there's many steps, but one step of growth um, and maturity is being accountable and, you know, being self, and like self accountability and you being able to call yourself out on your own shit. Um, and, you know, that, you know, comes with being self aware and being honest with yourself, obviously. Um, so, you know, I'll just kind of get into, you know, publicly what I was, what I was doing and how I checked myself and how, you know, I've got, gotten back on track. Um, uh, <clears throat> so, you know, obviously I've been very undisciplined for the past two months. Haven't made any, haven't done any podcasts, haven't made any content, uh, which you know I'm I'm disappointed disappointed in myself at um and at yeah you know what I'm saying um but you know just to kind of air air my shit out uh you know I just had a bunch of excuses uh and that's what they were you know I I I mean you know I am busy but I I've used I used that as an excuse uh I used He's now working. Oh, I need to. I need to do this. I need to do that uh, for an excuse. And you know, it's it's really not because I have time. Uh, I've been a lot busier in the past and still get shit done. So you know, like I said, it's just something I got to check myself on. Um, you know, I used to. I used to work before I moved to Arkansas. I was working like seventy hours a week for five six months, and I was still going to the gym every single day. Uh, you know, meal prepping, doing all that shit. So me working like a little 40, 40 to 50, uh, I have plenty of time to to be doing what I need to be doing, taking care of what I need to be taking care of, you know, with my media, my media stuff. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you know, another one was, you know, every time I was gonna start back up, because I really had been trying to start back up for about, probably about a month, at least month, month and a half. You know, I kept I tell this person, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it today. Tell this person I'm gonna do it today, and then, like week after week after week, it just kept you know kept kept on pushing it out because I had shit to do, something to pop up, you know, all all those lame ass excuses. Um, and you know, another thing is I'm actually going to switch the format in which I do the culture podcast. Um, and you know that actually does take a little bit of time, um, but like, again, not an excuse because it's also, you know, part of it was me not putting an emphasis on it early in the week, um, so then it kind of it creeps up on me, and then you know goes back to the, you know, I just don't have time to cram this all in to be able to get it out when I want to get it out. Um, and then, you know, last and definitely not least, the biggest thing is I was just being lazy. I was being a lazy piece of shit. And, you know, obviously, I don't think I'm a piece of shit, but I was just being lazy as hell. Um, and, you know, and like that kind of goes to everything. I didn't even, I didn't work out for about three months, three months, four months, something like that. Um, and, you know, working out is one of those things for, you know, people that have 
been around me for a while is like working out used to be a passion of mine um, and and honestly kind of like in everything I after I messed up my back this is not an excuse um, but after I messed up my back I really just kind of like lost lost the love for the gym because I was you know I was basically out for a whole year um, but you know along with losing my love for the gym you know I had that discipline to be in the gym and so I'd, like everything the discipline with everything else just kind of you know fell off with that um like I said you know we're gonna, we're gonna get back on track um uh, every time you get knocked down you gotta get back up um but yeah you know like like I say it all starts with, starts with self-accountability and you know I, I I checked myself uh no I started working out again a few weeks ago um and then honestly I I've only missed a few days with you know which is big for me um you know with with working and stuff now my weekends might mess up uh mess up my sleep schedule and stuff like that and you now I missed a day because I was literally just exhausted I got like 20 hours of sleep in like a five day period um and then just this week uh I had a had a rib sl shift slightly out of place but I thought it was my back so I took a couple days off of that um but you know we got back in there uh make do to do I started meditating again, uh, which is a big thing to, you know, that got me to where, where I, where I, like the headspace I was, you know, pre, pre back injury. Um, and, you know, I, I really, I believe, you guys have heard me talk about it, uh, we talked about it with M Michaela, but uh, I really believe that uh, meditation has, you know, been a big thing for me uh, changed changed my life really and I don't want to be like dramatic it didn't like train change my life drastically but it definitely definitely helps me um, and I mean yeah actually let's go into just like a little tangent real quick um, you know because I've actually expanded the ways I can meditate which I not I used to like only be able to meditate one way um, but you know for me meditation it's okay this is gonna sound weird but it's like whenever you know it's like you haven't brushed your teeth all day and like your mouth feels kind of gross and, like you brush your teeth and then do the mouthwash and your mouth just feels like it's like ah that's kind of what meditation does for me it's because it like it literally just like my whole body just feels like i rinsed it with mouthwash and that's like i know that sounds weird but that's really like i that's really what it feels like to me like there's a relief throughout my body which i don't really you know i'm not, i'm not like a super stressed person um, I don't have like a lot of things weighing on me so it's not even you know that it takes me away from reality it's just I don't, it's comforting and soothing to me um, and you know I started eating better not great but better um, yeah cuz I was I was eating like shit I gained probably like 20 pounds over the past few months um, and like i mean it's it's hard to tell because of you know my build and like what i wear and stuff like that but you know i gained gain gain some weight lost some muscle obviously um so you know we got to get the eating back right started working out you know just gotta gotta take the necessary steps um but yeah i'm trying to think you know any any other accountability things uh I mean, we can talk about you know accountability, accountability in other areas. Uh, no, I, I don't even we call it talking, getting to know stage. Uh, you know, this this year I've, I've had a few, um, 
and honestly, well, okay, so like this year is really like a bad year to kind of to kind of you know talk about the accountability aspect because they haven't been like very super long talking phases, but it's also just kind of you know like a not my fault type of thing is you know like I'm I'm here I'm ready and they're just not there or not to that point with me type of thing you know so you know it's, it's nobody's fault really it's just wrong place wrong time um you know it is what it is um but I can talk about you know like past relationships I I've definitely I've grown a lot I haven't been in a relationship in three years yeah, it'd be three uh, three years this week actually, um, but you know my last my last relationship, I, I definitely took a lot from that, um, and as I tried to, like that's been a thing. I've, I'm very much about you know personal growth um, and how how I can take the next step, be a better person, be a better man, um, and you know I one of the things that I used to be very bad at in relationships is like I I used to like if something bothered me I would I would tell yeah I'm gonna let you know what's up like I'm almost almost 100% of the time it's gonna be like if it pops up right then I'm gonna tell you right then um, and you know I did that with the relationship before that too uh, and you know so that was that was something I worked on not everything needs to be said. You got to know when, where to say things. Uh, that was probably the biggest thing. You know, I'm like, almost kind of like a, I was nagging, uh, which you know I know can be very annoying. Uh, that was probably the biggest takeaway from that one. Um, <clears throat> another takeaway, you know, accountability-wise, is I kind of get I was I was getting lost in relationships. You know, so I'm I'm very much a giver. And I'm a lover. I get lost in the person, and uh, stop doing my own shit. Stop working out. Stop taking work as seriously as serious as seriously. However you say that. Um, and you know that that's something I worked on. And I mean, and I'm still gonna be a giver. And I'm still gonna be a lover. Uh, but I, you know, just have to make sure. I have my own shit. Keep my keep my ducks in a row, along with fuck with your ducks over there. Um, but yeah, man, that's really kind of all I have to say on the accountability part. Um, yeah, I mean, I fucked up. I was being lazy, and now we're back. We gotta get back to it. Um, so that being said, we are going to get into the the new format of what I'm going to be doing on, on the podcast. Uh, so every week, you know, I'll have the regular thing that I talk about that I've, you know, that I've done in the past. Um, you know, have whatever different topics I'll, you know, start having people on again, you know, all, all that good shit. Um, but then something else that I am going to do, for those of you who don't know, I'm a big music head. Uh, one of the things I started doing mm, probably mm, sometime in 2020 was uh, I started listening to New Music Friday every Friday. So I, I wanted to expand, you know, expand my taste, expand my, um, like the artists I like and all, you know, the genre, all, all that good stuff. So. Uh, I started listening to New Music Friday every Friday on Spotify, and so I, you know, I thought, why not do like a, you know, top songs? So I'm gonna be doing the top ten songs of New Music Friday every week, um, and that was one of the things, you know, when I was talking about uh, the new format takes a little bit longer to to do. Is that's like the biggest part of it. <clears throat> um, cause I didn't know it was this long until like the other day, but new music Fridays are a hundred songs long. 
and you know obviously that's a lot of music and you know I skip some like halfway through if they're not good um, but 100 songs is, takes a long time to listen to uh, and then you know on top of that well we ain't gonna talk about all that um, you gotta you know fight for a Spotify listen um, have a shared account and then I'm gonna do a TikTok of the week and you know they might be old because I don't get on TikTok a lot but um, they're definitely it's gonna be you know when when I see it I'm gonna pick you know a good one and I'm gonna share it share it on here um, and then last one is I'm gonna make NFL picks uh, for the week so I'm, I'm five six I mean depends on how many games I like so you know we're gonna we're gonna do spreads or money lines um, and yeah so that's gonna be I was gonna do like a uh, kind of like a Twitter like I um, pick some pick some shit from Twitter to talk about that was like you know that blew up throughout the week I'm not gonna do that um, Cause I could shit. I I had a hard enough time doing this stuff as it is. So I, trying to do even more is gonna be a little rough. Um, but yeah, so let's you know, let's get started with the uh, the top ten songs on New Music Friday. Um, uh, I I don't I didn't listen to a, every single song this week. I probably left like ten to fifteen um, songs on there, but. There honestly weren't as many songs that I like this week. Like last week, I probably had 30 songs that I liked on there. Um, and most weeks I do, I, you know, I have, it's one of those that I have to go back through and listen to and choose the songs. Um, but I think I only had like 12 or 13. So, you know, I just had to boot just a couple. Um, so top 10 for this week, I'm never going to do these in order. Um, oh, let me preface. So when I say like the top 10 for this week, this will be from last week's because obviously I have to listen to the playlist. Um, so it'll always be like a week behind. So none of the new music that comes out like this Friday or this Friday's new music Friday will be on next week's and so forth and so on. That's another thing that I going to be putting these out on Friday um, yeah I'm gonna be putting these out on Friday because it's a day where I actually have a break like a scheduled break from me working and chilling out and you know doing errands running around and stuff so this will be consistently on Friday all right anyways get back to the top 10 um, so smoking out the window by Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. Uh, I like their. Shit, I don't even remember the. I can't remember the other song that they did. You know, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, whatever. Um, but I, I'm a big Bruno Mars fan. And uh, I'm starting to like Anderson Pack, uh, especially you know when he's working with Bruno Mars. So no, I thought that was a. I thought that was a good song. Kind of got like the old old type vibe um and then so one of my favorite artists of all time sam cook my second best like second favorite singer of all time next to michael jackson um but so bj the chicago kid pj morton and a few other people uh which you know i, I like those too um but they they did a sam cook song uh, bring it bring it on home to me love that song um they had a nice little, nice little soul, soul uh, swing on it. So I, I love that song. Um, they got "Fall in Love with You" by Montel Fish. Um, it's I don't even. It's like indie folk, alternative. I I couldn't. I don't really know exactly what type of genre that music is. Um, one of but one of the girls that. I talked to kind of put me on on that type of music and I like it uh, you know it's, it's slower softer um, but yeah no I, I really like that song 
Uh, another thing about this is these songs are not going to be songs that like got popular or whatever. These are going to be like my top 10 favorite songs of of the playlist. It's never going to be like, oh, everybody's liking that song, so I'm going to choose that. Um, okay, so the next one is Between Us by Little Mix. Uh, it's a girl group. Um, never heard of them before, uh, but it's a it's a cool little song. It sounds like it would be like on like a TV show or some shit, like the theme song for a TV show, um, like a girl TV show, kind of like a Hannah Montana type. I don't, you know, kind of shit like that. Um, but no, it's it's a good song though. I liked it. Uh, and then next one is this morning by Terrence Martin. There's a few other people on it, but it was too many for me to type it out. Um, yeah, I wish I wish I could play like a little snippet on on here for you guys, because uh, it would it would give a little bit, you know, better of a chance for you to. It'll give you a chance to listen to it without having to like go search for it. But oh well. Uh, next one's On Guard by Lauren. I I don't even know how to say her last name. I'm I'm a butcher it probably, but. Jargui, Jargui, Jargue, I, I don't know. Uh, on Guard by Lauren, whatever the hell her last name is. Uh, <clears throat> the next one, it's a country song. It's she Likes It by Russell Dickerson. Um, it's kind of country with a little bit of pop. Um, I, I really like that song. And then next one's Follow Me Into The Dark by, I also don't know how to say this, Hajaj, that's, that's my best guess. Um, or maybe it's supposed to be like ha 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 or ha ha. I don't know. Um, and then the next one is Deja Vu by James Arthur. Uh, and James Arthur's been around, so you guys kind of know what it is. It's kind of kind of like an upbeat pop song. Um, and then Slow Down Summer by Thomas Rhett. I'm a, I'm a Thomas Rhett fan. Um, I know he's kind of like the, on the, like the country pop type of type of genre. But yeah, I'm a big big Thomas Rhett fan. Um, and then we're gonna roll into the NFL picks for the week. Um, so I'm doing five this week. These are all gonna be spreads. I'm probably usually gonna pick a spread. Um, but so we got Lions versus Steelers. Spread is at seven and a half. And I'm gonna pick the Lions to cover. Um, besides the game against the Eagles, they've been playing pretty, pretty good ball. Um, and I'm confident they're gonna get one one of these weeks. No, I mean, I know the Steelers are playing playing well for the most part, um, but I like the Lions to cover the seven and a half. Then the next one's going to be the Rams and the 49ers. I think this one's, you know, it's a division game, so you can, those are always tricky, but got the, the Rams covering at three and a half. Um, I'm assuming, I don't, I haven't looked, I, didn't, I haven't looked into injury reports, um, for this week, but also, you know, they don't really, Friday, there's m very minimal people that are ruled out. Um, I don't know if Von Miller's playing, but uh, I'm gonna pick the, the Rams to win this, well, to cover this pretty easy. Next one, I got the Packers and the Seahawks. And the spread is at three. I'm gonna pick the Packers to win that. Uh, I don't think, I don't think that the Seahawks with Geno Smith aren't aren't gonna cover three against the Packers. Um, probably the Packers offense is too potent, and they're not obviously gonna play like they did last week. Then I got the uh, the Bucks and the Washington Football Team. Um, the the spread for that one is nine and a half for the uh, minus nine and a half for the Bucks. 
Obviously, I'm going to pick the Bucks to cover that. Uh, Washington football team is not that good right now. Um, I like Taylor Heineke, but the Bucks, the Bucks are rolling. Bucks have a lethal offense. Can't run the ball. You have to pass the ball. I just, I don't see how 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 they're going to keep up with them. And then I got the Jags and the Colts. It's my last game, and it's Colts minus ten, which I think is very generous. Um, I know the Colts are playing really good ball, but the Jags have two wins on the season now, and they they just beat a pretty good Buffalo team. I, I think Buffalo's better than the Colts, but you know, with that being said, me picking the Jags, that means they'll probably get thrashed. Um, but yeah, Jags the cover, plus 10, so let's go, go back up. So we got the Jags covering plus 10 against the Colts. We got the Bucks covering minus nine and a half against the football team. We got the Hawks, or no, excuse me, we got the Packers covering minus three and a half against the Hawks. Have the Rams covering minus three, excuse me, Packers at minus three, not three and a half. The Rams covering minus three and a half against the 49ers, and then have the Lions covering seven and a half against the Steelers. And for my last segment, um, last segment, I don't know if I said this earlier. Yeah, I did. Uh, it's gonna be a TikTok of the week. So um, this one, this one kind of hit me because of come on now this would kind of hit me uh because it, at the end it says it has part of a phrase that i say now if my tiktok would work on my tablet that would be great okay so you know with this tiktok um it's, it's like a, one of the meaningful TikToks, and they they won't always be meaningful, um, and, you know, deep and thought provoking. But uh, I thought I would start it off with one of these, and so I'll go ahead and you know it'll be here somewhere. Uh, let it play, and then we'll talk about it after. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but this hit different. Peace is the result of retraining your mind to process life as it is rather than what you think it should be. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but this hit different. Peace is the result of retraining your mind to process life as it is, rather than what you think it should be. Okay, so for me, the, uh, the piece that got me was the the life as it is part uh or well yeah that, that's that's what really got me so processing life as it is rather than what it should be um one of like my most said things uh, is it is what it is and that's what kind of you know hit me with that with what she said was um you know, like the processing life as it is, is in correlation to me saying it is what it is, is, there's too many is's, is, um, is that I, I accept things a lot easier than other people. Um, and part of that is really that I've, I've gotten to the, to the place that she's talking about. I, I very much feel like I am at peace as like in, as in the concept of like in my, in my mind and in my soul, uh, I'm things with, I'm okay with things going left um, and you know, things not working out because at the end of the day, like, I can only control what I control. Um, and and then sometimes it almost kind of seems you know like I'm I'm a dick 
or I don't care. Uh, but I don't know. I just I kind of process things faster and get it out of my system faster than what a lot of people do. And and that's not to say that like I don't think about things still, but it's like a where it doesn't hurt my soul like say like like it does normally to other people um you know for example the last two the last two uh little talking stages i've had or whatever uh the most recent one is kind of i almost kind of saw it coming so that helped but like literally i processed it and accepted it mm, half a day and I said that like that sounds really bad but it's like it's not something I can control I can't tr control somebody else's emotions or headspace or anything like that same thing with the girl before that is you know that that one was longer that one was a few months and like by the end of the next day i was cool i accepted it um because like i said you know it goes goes back to goes back to the it is what it is because i can't control it and why would i sit here and you know be down about it and uh i lost a word that i was going to use dwell why would i dwell on it when you know there's a lot of life left to live and there's plenty of things out there that can make me happy not even talking about you no know, another woman but there's plenty of things that can make me happy in my life so why dwell on like one negative thing that happened you know um but you know i've, I've been that i've worked on, i've worked on that for a long time so i don't want it to be like oh well you know he just kind of went like that and it happened, I've gotten to that point uh, over, over years. And like, also it sounds bad, but like I'm very much like I can flip a switch emotionally to get over things also. So that also does help with the is, it is what it is part. But the flipping the switch goes back to being at peace because I can't control it. Um, but yeah, so I probably got, a little bit more into that than I thought it would be um, but yeah so I, I love that video and you know we'll have some more thought-provoking videos and all that uh, but yeah so this oh let me re rewind real quick okay so don't know if I said this earlier but I, I did shoot a nice buns review in Philly it wasn't a burger review it was actually a pizza and a cheesesteak review because I first time I've ever been to Philly. So we tried a bunch of cheesesteaks and like the most popular pizza place in the city. Excuse me. So that will be a bonus video. And I honestly haven't decided how frequently or how frequent I will, excuse me, do the burger review, but I'm going to do one tomorrow. I'm going to drop this tonight. Uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow and i'm at least once a month probably two because uh, i love burgers so you know why not there's i have a bunch of places to try um but yeah that's it uh thank you for watching i, I know i have a few that you know watch every time i want to say thank you guys and then thank you for anybody new who who watched or listened um, and you know we're gonna get this thing back rolling again and also i do believe it is men's mental health awareness month so shout out to all the kings out there uh, you do matter and if you need somebody to talk to holla at your boy uh, you know I'm, I'm here for any any peace and any healing that is needed uh, so Again, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next week.